Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. Mm, I am quite happy this morning. I listened to um, a podcast that had some science in it. Uh, it was a scientist going over some research about gratitude and it was very affirming to me because um, some of the research is showing that hearing a narrative about gratitude so uh, has, is very impactful and a huge inspiration for me and my showing up every day for over a year sending those messages in a bottle back to myself is to share my gratitude for my health and vibrancy and joy. My gratitude for my whoopsie daisy capacity to see the joy in things, to see the good around me and be grateful for it. And um, knowing that that has an aid and an uplifting effect on your mirror neurons and what I would have given to have had that to start my mornings with, to be able to see someone giving in that way um, would have touched me and helped me to, you know, shoulders back, I've got this um, energy. So it's feeling grateful and inspired. And we're gonna do whoopsie daisy stories today. And I have so, many at the moment. <laughs> Being with family makes it so fun. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be with my brother, my adult brother and his newborn baby and um, just be living under the same roof for a little while is rich. So the other morning, you know, we're both kind of up before dawn, up in the, you know, oh dark hundred, me to get up to, to share with you guys him getting up for his baby. And um, he, you know, he had left the wife and baby sort of peacefully in the room and he was in the kitchen making, like he makes this amazing coffee. Like, don't typically drink coffee, but his is like magic coffee. <laughs> it's extra good. And it's sort of fun to have us humming around in the dark in the kitchen in the morning together. So this particular morning that I was up before him and was headed, there's a big, uh, it's an old, old farmhouse and the old back porch is a big interior hall now and, um, and with a beautiful skylight in the middle of it. And uh, I was listening to Oprah Winfrey in my earbud and Oprah for me is sort of one of the aspects of God, <laughs> of the divine, the sound of her voice, her wisdom, her uh, true intention of her focus, um, fan of Super Soul Sunday, that kind of thing. That's me. So I'm listening to some great, greatest quotes from her, and I think it was some excerpts from one of her books, but I had her in one ear. He was sort of already feeling that presence of mm, joyful support and I am walking in this big echoey hall and it's dark and I hear Winston. <laughs> I look up the hall, I look down the hall, I don't see anyone. So finally I look up at the skylight. <laughs> and just about that time, my brother pops around from the kitchen. He goes, oh, yes, it's the voice of God speaking to you, Winston. <laughs> spoken from the kitchen his voice had echoed through the dining room and up into the skylight so that's where it sounded like it was coming from was this Winston and I did have the good sense to look up the hallway and down the hallway and into the dining room where there were no people before I looked up <laughs> and it was just like a room like that's where the sound came from let me figure this out but it was the funniest whoopsie daisy to have him come around the corner see me like <laughs> look 
looking for the voice of God that was calling to me that morning. <laughs> and I was like, oh, whoopsie daisy, that was you. <laughs> you called me from the kitchen through the dining room and the skylight. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh, all right, so that's whoopsie daisy story number one. Whoopsie daisy story number two. Let's see. Oh, it was also another morning with my brother. <laughs> this time it's me walking in on him. I go into the kitchen and he's like, Winston, Winston, have you seen this bird? Look at this bird. <laughs> he's pointing out the window. He's like, it hasn't moved in a long time. <laughs> And I go, oh, do you mean that old Christmas ornament? <laughs> He's stuck in a tree. <laughs> We've left it there because so many people get a laugh out of like, oh, look, look, it's, it's this real dove sitting in the tree. <laughs> and it's gray and it's sort of one dimensional. <laughs> it's kind of, it's three dimensional, but it's an old ornament. So the head was kind of flattened in two dimensions. <laughs> but when you're standing blurry-eyed in the kitchen in the morning, you kind of look out there and you think this beautiful dog is there in the dogwood tree just staring back at you. <laughs> but because it's happened to me, when it happened to me, I, I coined the bird, the, deco, <laughs> the decoy for dummies. Because <laughs> you feel a little like, ooh, <laughs> when you realize that that's not really a bird. It was very funny that my brother had a little whoopsie daisy with our decoy for dummies. <laughs> a little faux bird out in the tree. All right, so that's whoopsie daisy story number two. So here comes number three. It's a little cheeky. All right, so I, you know, I'm dealing with this beautiful puppy and the family, and I'd taken the puppy into my room. Oh, he's been doing so good. He loves fires, like he settles in front of the fire. Ah. Oh to just engage with the family without having that extra vigilant eye to make sure he's not, you know, uh, untraining himself, <laughs> chewing on furniture or rugs, those kind of things. Um, he'd just been brilliant, you know? Like, we're like, wow, look at him just laying on his bed and he's had all this exercise and activity, he's chill. But the other night I bring him into my room. I really needed to return a text to someone and I am literally a minute and a half sending this text. And in a minute and a half, he ate a hole in a footstool and a hole in the Oriental rug. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's like, okay, clearly he, he, he's not there yet <laughs> to be unsupervised. And so I find these two things, a minute, minute and a half, two minutes max. And, um, and then I also notice, oh wait, my earbud, um, like I had this great birthday present this year was these earbuds um, that I've really enjoyed. And I was like, well, it was sitting by my bed. Did he eat that too? <laughs> Where'd it go? And it, it wasn't just the earbud, it was like there's a little case that they go in. Where is it? I thought it was there. I started looking all over the house. I'm like, you know, and I'm dealing with the dog and taking him outside because he's been a little mischievous. I figure he needs more exercise. At some point I start thinking like, where, I don't usually put it within his reach. Where would I put it? I put it here, I put it there. Oh, oh. and I reached out in my bra and I put it in my bra. <laughs> Was carrying it around with me the whole time that I was looking for it. <laughs> it was literally right under my nose. <laughs> I was like, whoopsie daisy, whoopsie daisy. My family got a big laugh out of that one after, you know, because I had, I had enlisted to support and help to help me find these. <laughs> so I had to come clean everybody where, where they'd been hiding. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you so much for spending this time with me. Let's take three uh, gentle solidarity breaths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I 
am so grateful for this time together, setting our intention for the day to step into joy, to let go of our resistance and allow ourselves to feel the joy and the happiness, even if it's just for moments, even if you reach for it for just a breath, that sense of relief will continue to grow and grow and grow. And we're leveraging neuroscience to affect these changes on a neurochemistry level. Your brain can't help but change. Just keep on keeping on. Got this. I'll see y'all tomorrow.